Are you seeing it? Daddy Chill. It's there in your face. Actually, this is Modern Warfare 2. But if you want to see a little bit of a switch, check this out. Just check this out. Send them to the slaughterhouse! What? I'm sure you're seeing it here, right? You see these guys? These movement kings? There's starting to get more and more of them. I'm over here on Twitter just browsing, just looking through, and I see one after another after another, and I'm not following these guys. I just show up. And guess what? There are people out there that like this type of movement. But you have to wonder, well, with all this movement, how can they keep up with the enemy? I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as boy. <laughs> the enemy's running around, and they're trying to, I guess, slide cancel around the enemy. Right? Yeah. Okay. Damn, that was annoying. Well, as time goes on, you see more and more people doing this, and it's actually kind of catching on for the younger crowd. Huh? Which is fine and all. I understand. There's a niche for this, or an audience that actually likes this. Dang it, Bobby. And I understand that. Because, well, it is kind of entertaining. But... Let's go! Fall back now! We come to a new thing that many haven't talked about. Matter of fact, when I go look for it, I haven't seen anybody. And that's cheaters. That's cheating. That's cheating. What do you mean, right? Yeah. All right. This is where the fun begins. As Call of Duty evolves, well, the gameplay does too. You got people that do this, and well, some bigger streamers, I won't say their names, have put out there that they are movement gods. And as that went on in Warzone 1, you have other people that used to follow that trend. Wow. Upon following this trend, there are things and techniques that they use to help enhance aim. Enemy UAV overhead. And it's very hard to spot when you got this going on, but there are key moments. Another day, another victory for the OG, taking down the sweats. One of the telltale signs of this is, well, let's just say it, sticky, very. Very sticky. Oh, sticky. Oh, so sticky. And other people will sit there and argue and say, well, it's just rotational aim assist. But I beg to differ. Rotational aim assist usually happens a lot more when per persons or figure, whatever you want to call it, is more closer to you. Fire. Aim assist is always going to be strong, like close to mid range, but um, definitely at like longer ranges, aim assist is like pretty much non existent, it feels like. But there's a little bit of stickiness to it, but it's nowhere near how it's felt the last couple of years for sure. As the distance goes further and further away, the aim assist gets less and less. There's also a person that explains the thing called aim lock, as like he likes to call it. It is a made-up term, but it does make sense when he explains it. Check this out right here. Right into me, and uh, boom. You see how like it just takes the aim assist off like crazy? My aim assist locked right there. It locked right there. Now I'm going to ADS and do it. Right? Boom. My aim assist locks to the ground because I'm ADS'd in and he just destroys it right there. And then with the hip fire, it locks down. So that, that right there is what the slide locking is. So now that I wasted four minutes of your time or whatever time it is it's been of how all this crap works, it's going to be even harder to spot these people who actually use cheats to, well, to do movement. They claim that you need cracked movements to actually create a skill gap. However, I've always had my suspicions that this has been because they use certain movement features to mask the fact they are checking through walls and to mask the fact that they are locking onto enemies. But that's just an opinion. So in there lies the problem where you have to decipher. How do you know if a person is cheating? Well, most of these guys fortunately have big egos. They really do. Unfortunately, I've even dealt with some. And now it comes to proof. Well, we need proof, right? Is Ricochet really doing his job? I, I don't think it does a great job. But I think it does something. And a lot of people seem to sit there and say, it's just mass reports, right? That's mainly what they claim. You're seeing all these here, and some of them are duplicates of the same person but I did go back in time a little bit, so I'm sorry about that. But still, 
These guys will claim it's one thing or another or mass reports, it's blah, blah, blah. I had a lot more screenshots, but unfortunately I lost them all. So there was, I could have went on for a whole half an hour of all these people complaining about the same exact thing. Oh, mass reporting, shadow ban, blah, blah, blah. But let me tell you, it does take skill to do all this. And some of these guys don't really do it as bad. Other there's just way, way out of control. But let's move on to something else. How do you know someone is cheating again? How am I hacking? I didn't do anything. What happened? I'm gonna get shadow ban again. I'm gonna get shadow ban. Stop spectating me, man. I'm so tired of this. Stop spectating me, man. I'm getting spam reported. I'm getting. Oh my god, man. I don't. I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't get it. Like, I can't even drop high kills. I don't get it. God. I don't, I don't understand this game, man. I really don't. I just don't understand what I'm supposed to do. On this clip, pay attention. Do you see it? Damn. Does anything stand out to you? Look. Yeah. These guys move so fast. Some of these guys. And it's really hard to decipher what's going on. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. So in case you miss it, let me just slow it down so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Right about here. So in normal mode or fast mode or YY mode, a lot of stuff is more spat up. Unfortunately for this guy, he had to slow down to hit this guy right here. And for most of the time, most of the kills, I'll even show some more from the same person. They're a lot more faster and less prevalent to catch. So, man, this is really, really hard to sit there and catch. <laughs> At this point, it just looks like all these people are just why whying around and just sitting there having movement or what they call crack movement. And it's going to be harder to catch. But keep your eye out because, unfortunately, this stuff is all too common. Way too common. And a lot of these people have to have some kind of extra help in order to help with their movement you know what i mean so with that being said be careful out there because there's way too many of these guys starting to pop up everywhere and yeah you already know they're getting shadow banned on a regular basis so with that being said also hit the like hit the sub and i got a giveaway for an xbox or a playstation 5 at 25,000 subs if you want to be a part of it all you got to do is hit the sub button that's it it's that easy don't be a fruit bag game over